guys, please ignore this hair, we're focusing on this today. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm jumping on the trend bandwagon and I'm going to be following a Nikki Tutorials tutorial. Um, I'm going to be following the Perry Edwards one where she did like um, the Perry Edwards shout out to my ex inspired makeup look. Hopefully it looks something like it but you know I'm I'm, I'm like attempting a makeup artist makeup look and I am like what? Like a little girl in England attempting a makeup artist tutorial. Like yeah, don't expect much. I've got all products, not the same obviously because I do not have that amount of money. Okay, let's get watching. So she started off by moisturising her face as a primer, so I'm not actually going to use primer today. I'm going to use the Body Shop Strawberry Moisturiser as this one I use every day. She says she uses that moisturiser every day. I didn't have the money to spend about $20 or whatever, how much amount she spent, £20 whatever, on a moisturiser. And from Ofra, I'd rather just use the Body Shop one. So that's what I'm going to do. And she like rubbed it in with the palms of her fingers, so yeah. Also, um, can I just say, um, this trend was started by Rachel Ballinger. I know a lot of people are saying like this other guy started it, but it really was really Rachel Ballinger because she said she was crap at makeup and wanted to follow some tutorials. So, just giving credit to Rachel Ballinger. Thank you for the idea. Okay, so she applied a full coverage foundation. Therefore, I'm going to use the Dermacol foundation in the shade 210. Um, she she sh says that she applies it with the beauty blender but it kind of just shows the beauty blender and then it just applying it so I don't know whether she squeezes it on so I'm just going to do it how I normally do it and dot it around my face and I think I'm actually going to tie my hair back real quick even messier than before the coverage on this though She used like a Maybelline concealer. I'm gonna try and apply the concealer and everything like kind of the same way. So she applied it like kind of like tiger stripes. I need to actually rewind that because I need to see what she just did. Do I look like Nick Tutorials yet? No. But am I trying? The answer to that is yes. Not many tutorials come at me. I'm just joking. I love you, really. We'll look like. Okay, now for the next step, which is hopefully setting powder, because I am a greasy mess right now, or like a dewy mess. Yeah, we'll call it that. So she like used like a setting powder, like a Maybelline one. So I'm gonna use a Rimmel one because Maybelline and Rimmel are like brothers and sisters. They hate each other, but they really love each other, right? Okay, so I'm gonna use that all under my eyes. Um, I'm gonna try and make it like setting powder, but I don't really use loose powder. Um, and then she just went right. I'm gonna do my brows now. I'm gonna be back. So I'm gonna just do my brows how I normally do them. I might do them a bit bolder because this Nikki tutorials right here. She has the most amazing brows. So let's do it. She took like another one, some Charlotte Hillsbury one, and like put it all over her face. So I'm just gonna take this cheap MUA one, kind of just neatly. Oh. Dab it all round. If I'm following Nikki's tutorials, tutorials that well, I'm actually going to do my brows off camera, like I always do. Um, and I'm just using that Anastasia Dape Brow, and I'll be right back in a sec. Don't worry, guys, I'm not done blending, but um, she probably did conceal them, and she'll probably go mad. She probably won't watch this video, but if she is, hi Nikki tutorials, love your channel. Um, I'm not going to conceal them because I never do that and she just did her brows and she didn't say that she concealed them so I'm not going to do that. Okay, I am done brushing them out. Now on to the next step which I think is um, eyeshadow, that's the word. Axel, Elka paint pot I do not own so I'm actually going to just go back in with my concealer because that's what basically that MAC thing is, right? I think it is. I don't yeah, I think I'm done now for the eyeshadow, which I'm very scared because it looks amazing and it probably won't look like amazing when I do it. I already know she's going to use about 500 brushes, so I have like, what, eight brushes? Seven, eight brushes with me. Here we go. That brow. Look at it. It's amazing. <laughs> and this color right here is going into my crease. It looks 
Okay guys, so she's the Morphe 35O palette. I don't have that palette, but I do have a Morphe palette, um, luckily. I have the 35N palette, and she is quite a warm toned orangey colour, and honestly, I think it's that colour right there, mixed with the colour actually next to it, which hopefully that would do something, and then she just literally put it in the crease. She didn't even put it like over here, she kind of just did it in the middle, so. I don't know what brush to use, I've got like 5,000 of them. I think I might use, go on, we'll use this one. Actually, so work it like on the inside of the crease, like Focus right here on the inner, crease. inner crease. We got you, Nikki. I don't know where the inner crease is, but I'm going to do it. Ah, uh, that is nothing like the colour what she's used. Then she used that colour, and I think it's that colour there. I don't really know. don't even know what she does with it first. I'm just discovering the colour. This looks nothing like what she did. But you know what? We're here to try and that's what I'm going to do. So, let's take that colour right now. It'll look fine once we've got the lashes on. <laughs> Only joking. So I thought we was done with that section. No, we was not. She went in with like the same kind of orangey colour, but she went like literally up to her brow. Like you can, I, I can even prove it. Like, but she still rocks it. But like, look, look how close that is to the brow. So the words darkest colour of the palette. Do you not, right, okay. I, I'm not even gonna argue with her because obviously she knows what she's talking about. That is not even sarcasm. She went in with it looked like the colour we went in before. Look, that looks purple though. Come on, man. I think it's that colour there. Even though it looks purple. We're still going go with it. Oh, she says we're going to make a cut crease. I think there's no cut crease thing in this. <sighs> okay. Really, calm down. I'm going to take... I don't even know what colour it is anymore. I think it's this colour. Me trying to be a beauty girl like I'm like going psycho because I can't do it. But when I think about it, like I am trying my best and also Nikki Tutorials is like a professional makeup artist. And another part of these videos is completely humiliate your makeup skills. I'm not trying to do that, I'm just trying to have a bit of fun, you know. But thank god we're in the light parts now. So she's actually in the 350 shimmer palette. I again don't have that, that's the only one I own. But I am gonna use my Revolution Skin Kiss Ice Kiss highlighter. Like, in wherever she wants to put it. I don't really know. I'm just following her now, which is what I'm meant to be doing in the first place. And continue blinding that lid using that same shade. And also highlighting the inner corner. All right, steady on. Well, they got one per round. Also, I think, yeah, it's definitely ability that I'm missing. But I also think it's, like, the products. Like, I get, like, she's using Morphe things. I think my products are just as good, obviously not just as good, like, um, I think it's the brushes really, like, I'm on a limited amount of brushes, she has probably drawers and drawers full of brushes, she gets sent them all the time, blended it out a little bit, I'm starting to feel a little bit more happy with it now, it looks a lot more like a cut crease, and I've never been able to do cut creases, so I'm quite happy, I don't know what's next, I do not know what's next, jinxed it. So I've got to take like an eyeliner and put it in my waterline. I've never done that before. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm having a panic attack. Okay, I know I'm looking like a bit like a goth right now. No shaving goths. I love you goths. But, um, yeah, she did it and she kind of like blended it out. Now I've got to put even more flipping eyeshadow on. I've used basically my whole Morphe palette. There's going to be nothing of it left. I'm going to go into my Revolution palette and use this colour here. Um, yeah, it's like a dark brown colour. A lot like she used in the video. Here we go. Honestly guys, I feel like 11 from Stranger Things issue on makeup on a daily basis in like season two, where she like basically was a goth half of the season. Sorry for any spoilers, but 11 was a goth for like half of it. Super scared to do this in front of the camera. I think I'm just gonna film it now and edit it. So here we go. Doing eyeliner right now guys. After doing this very dark wing, I usually, I know this isn't in the tutorial, but for me to look kind of semi-decent, like this side, I go in with the whitest eyeshadow from that palette, the 35N um, palette, and blend it out of that. 
the lashes obviously it's going to be a struggle so i will see you guys in a bit <sighs> well that was a quest i do know they do not look the best when that rhymed yeah they do not look the best this is the first ever time you ever seriously properly going to put eyelashes on without messing about and then failing miserably i all right first for so now she's actually doing some bronzing and um, finally moving on to the face this has been over an hour and a half worth of work i'm going to use my morphe 9bz please shut up nikki i'm sick of hearing you at the moment um <laughs> um, she used contour and that's what I'm gonna do right now. She used like a different brush to me. It was like what? now I think it's contour. See what this is. Oh ow. So the first highlight. Oh yes, indeed. Highlight. Oh, no blush. She has blush on. Okay, we've skipped somewhere. So she used a bronzer that was like kind of blushy like. But I'm still going to use a bit of my blush, so I'm going to use my Revolution Sugar and Spice palette. But I'm only going to use this cute little natural colour right here. And maybe I'll go on, we'll use a little bit of that. We'll use a bit of them too. Just kind of pat it on. Okay, that's a little bit too pink. I actually, like, spent this long on my makeup. It's actually literally kind of stressed me out now she did highlighter she just keeps packing on highlighter so i'm just going to do my normal highlighting routine where i spray it with my rubidescu and choose whatever highlighter i'm going to switch between my revolution one and also my anastasia sun dip glow kit but let's see how this baby is first because we can always trust a five pound highlighter because obviously we can't it's from revolution so obviously we can trust it oh my god look at that glow guys look at it also puts it down the nose area a embellishment and it's the closest one um that is of what she used i have 24 nyx lipstick so i might as well make use of it so the only thing i'm missing is the dots underneath like angel just reminded me but honestly even if you don't i'm gonna even go need them though it's like they look good <laughs> thank you i am a nyx but I don't, I don't know if it's worth it to just be practicing about. But like, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna sit down and go, hmm, what can I do? I've got the party tonight with my family. I would definitely do this look, no doubt. Obviously, I would use these same colours. I don't have the same colour she does. But um, thank you, Nick Sor um, Soros, for inspiring me. Um, I watch you every single day. If an angel will say I, that you're literally the only YouTuber I watch. Um, and I watch you. And then also, yeah, thanks Rachel Ballinger for giving me this idea as well as many other YouTubers across the internet. And I love you guys. Make sure to subscribe up here. You will not have to see these lashes ever again. This is very shocking. And uh, make sure to watch another video over here. Bye, guys. Get that thumbnail. Watch what poses should I do, guys? Should I go? Where? thumbnail and if you stay to the end of the video you would have seen this clip bye guys